According to the latest data, between 2018 and 2022, Uzbekistan carried out planting on an area of 1.6 million hectares to eliminate dust emissions from the drained bottom of the RLC. A conference was held to improve the conditions in this regard. The discussions also focused on comprehensive measures regarding land resources, biodiversity and climate. Sand and dust storms in Central Asia affect climate, environment, public health, agriculture and economy. Over 80% of the regions, roughly 400 million hectares of land, are deserts, natural sources of these storms, worsened by climate change and drought. Economic activities like irrigation farming, cattle breeding and mining contribute to the formation of dust and sand storms. To prevent this, all Central Asian countries also participated in this seminar to exchange views and make proposals on this topic. Efforts to combat this issue require collaboration among Central Asian countries. Reforestation plays a crucial role in mitigating the negative impacts. Turkmenistan has planted over 140 million trees in the last 20 years, improving desert pastures and reducing desertification dynamics. Utilizing existing regional platforms and resources is essential. Protective afforestation like the 20,000 hectares of forest in Turkmenistan helps capture rising dust. Uzbekistan also conducts reforestation on dried parts, planting crops on over 20,000 hectares annually, preventing and dust settlement. Many other international organizations also attended the seminar with several projects. One of them was to combat against drought in Central Asia. And we have a joint program on integrated drought management. And this is why we are here. We want to discuss with the five Central Asian countries about the, the severe impacts of drought in Central Asia. So we know that in the, in the Paris Agreement, if we really can, with this very optimistic goal, get to stop climate change at 1.5 degrees, even then the frequency of droughts will double in the world. And this means also in Central Asia, the, the frequency and the severity of droughts will increase dram dramatically. In Starting March 1st, the population will be warned when a dust storm occurs or when fine particles in the air exceed set standards. This conference was the first step to the country to implement the roadmap. All countries in the Central Asian region plan to develop a strategy to address issues like global climate change, desertification, drought, land degradation and loss of biodiversity. They will work together to create a roadmap on desertification during the seminar, collaborating with neighboring countries. This roadmap will guide them in taking strategic steps to eliminate the negative consequences. By these five-day workshops, the participants aim to achieve the following goals. Implementing measures to combat land degradation and manage land resources sustainably according to international standards and financing mechanisms. Establishing a regional platform and data center for drought monitoring and developing a regional cooperation project for sustainable management of transboundary land and water resources in the Fergana Valley.